Level 1 Espers are some of the most underrepresented psychic ability users in the entire Toaru franchise. They are described as having powers on the level of bending a spoon, which are not very useful in everyday life. So what? They are basically nerf versions of Kadabra? At least Alakazam can bend two spoons. Disclaimer, level 1s can have a different ability to the highly thrilling spoon bending technique. There have been very few level 1s that have actually appeared so far in this series, but there's enough to make a video about. I guess they should be grateful they aren't ranked at zero. First up, we have Himegi Matsuri, who you might remember from the end of the Accelerator anime. She's the main female protagonist of an arc I'd rather drink to forget, as she probably has more screen time than even Accelerator. Oh, hey! Seriously, for an arc about chefs, the Nectar arc incinerated whatever it was trying to cook. And if it wasn't blatantly obvious, Himegi is a damsel in distress type character and one that doesn't even fight. When faced by a group of skill out thugs, Himegi lacks serious self-awareness as she honestly thought revealing herself as a level 1 would scare them away, even though it's the second lowest rank in the entire city. Luckily, Last Order arrived in time to drag Himegi out of the situation before she got hurt. So yeah, we don't even know what Himegi's ability is. Her body is part mechanical and she has a substance inside her known as nectar that can be extracted from her to create body crystal. The same drug that Akitsubo Riko is hooked on that increases her power. Extracting the nectar inside the body sounds sus as hell by the way. I guess due to being partly responsible for body crystal, she is somewhat useful, but considering we know next to nothing about her in a fight, Himeki has to be ranked at the bottom, where she belongs, cause she's literal garbage. Now we have Honoka, not the one from Love Live. This one looks like gender bent Toma. Honk was one of Shundan Kimi's closest childhood friends, as their group was taken in by a power development lab to boost their Esper levels. What could possibly go wrong? As a very respectable level 2 Esper and Pyrokinesis user, Honk could literally create and manipulate fire at will. But for whatever reason, the experiments on Honk had the opposite effect and demoted her to level 1. Wow, what an epic prank. As Honk was now at an even lower level, the control over her ability significantly decreased as she was not able to produce fire consistently, if at all. And to make matters worse, she got gunned down, sacrificing herself to let her friends escape from the lab, which then of course started Kimmy's anime villain arc. I think cause Honk is a demoted level 2, it should place her higher than Himegi in my opinion, despite the limitations of her power in this state. While we didn't get to see Honk directly use her power, we can likely scale her off other low-level pyrokinesis users we have seen throughout the series. Also, she proved to be a decent fighter from an early age, and when Honk was older, she was able to throw hands with grown adult guys and win. What more evidence do you need that Honk is female Toma? I rest my case. Next, we have a newly introduced character from the item spin-off, Ainame Caroline. She is a crazy-ass lolly who acts as the Kihara Amata figure for Mugano, as she developed her level 5 Meltdowner ability, which launches electrons to disintegrate matter. Carol is super intelligent for a 10-year-old, having developed her own Esper ability and also cheated her way into college at age 5. I wish that was a joke. God damn it, Kamachi. How many times? are you gonna make these characters lollies for no fucking reason due to her being able to develop her power how she wishes carol is much stronger than an average level one esper carol's ability is electron based photography which outputs or copies information the esper shouldn't know onto an existing medium such as predicting the future or influencing minds but carol is different to other photography users as she is also capable of using the ability offensively. Carol's version of the power has a surprising number of unique and different applications. She has a form of precognition and is able to predict events 
before they happen. It's similar to the precognition used by Miyama in Railgun C, but it functions differently. Carol uses the invisible flow of electrons to simulate the future and draw it out using magnetism, which is imprinted in her brain and can be shared with others like a photograph. It is unclear how far Carol can see into upcoming events, but she managed to stay one step ahead of the item girls for a majority of the volume. Carol can project a thought pattern onto her victim's brain via special iron ink, putting them into a permanent coma that can only be reversed if she dies or removes it herself. And this ability can even kill the victim if they have serious enough injuries by literally frying the brain's electrical signals. Carol propels the ink which is smaller than nano devices using a special magnet, and it can even affect sparkling electronics, causing them to ignite and explode, which is what happened when Carol used it on a damaged car. Carol is also skilled at evading attacks, which looks like teleportation to the naked eye. During her second fight with Mugano, Carol was able to avoid nearly all of her deadly beams by throwing off her aim and always being one step ahead of her former test subject, as she is able to predict when her opponents blink or turn away from her, which then gives her the opportunity to dash to a different position. Carol used her power in conjunction with a knife, which she used to slash Mugano when she got close enough. In their first encounter of the volume, Carol was able to defeat the 4th rank level 5, which would have been impressive if Hamazara didn't do the same, and likely Carol would have beaten Mugano again if not for Takitsubo saving her ass. Still, I think it's pretty obvious that Carol is leagues above the level 1s ranked below her and would absolutely destroy them. Before I talk about who's at the top of the list, hit the subscribe button if you want to see me rank all level 4 espers as I plan to make that video very soon. Now last but not least we have the god of all level 1 espers, the all powerful girl who solos fiction, Uiharu Kazari. The worst part is, I'm serious about her being the strongest level 1 so far. If you've only seen the anime, you might be thinking I've been ingesting some of that strong ass body crystal from earlier, but listen up. Uiharu's power is Thermal Hand, which allows her to maintain the temperature of objects she touches. It's not like she can touch someone and burn them alive by reaching the temperature of the sun. She's only level one, so it's way more tame. I mean, Uiharu's also a super hacker. But how is being a computer nerd gonna help her with power scaling? It won't, cause Big Cac gave her the boots. Her physical strength is terrible, even for her age. The reason why she's number one is because we ain't talking about base Uiharu, who gets her skirt flipped by Saturn every scene. Turns out her hacking skills gave her the ultimate deus ex machina in the form of awakened Uiharu. Uiharu hacked into AIM jammers, technology which is supposed to stop espers from using their powers. Turns out she can reconfigure them to actually alter her AIM field, the energy produced by espers, and her personal reality, the separate reality espers have in their minds, which then produces their power in the real world, resulting in a buff form with an entirely new ability. In this state, Uiharu was able to visualize the world in a digital format. I was somehow able to separate the angel dragon from Kimi, allowing it to be weakened enough to be destroyed by Misaka's railgun. How this actually works, Sally, wasn't even explained. Was it a form of reality warping or manipulating information? Dunno, but really wish I did. Still, due to this hacks to seemingly do the impossible, Uiharu in this state is definitely way more powerful than the other level ones ranked below her. Even if it is the greatest asshole in Toaru history, Carol may have way more applications of her power and has more feats than awakened Uiharu, but since it's heavily implied that Uiharu can do almost anything in this form, I don't see how Carol can even handle that when her power got smoked by Takitsubo. Since Uiharu disrupted Kimi's crazy ability and dragon, it's fair to say Carol would suffer the same fate. Oh yeah! There's also apparently a level 1 girl from the Railgun PSP game, but I ain't counting game exclusive characters, so deal with it! I'll be ranking the other levels too, so make sure you subscribe to not miss out. I've already done the level 0s and 5s, so check them out on screen right now if you want to see more content just like this.